Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use the OR function in Microsoft Excel. It is one of Excel's logical function and it returns true if any one condition is true and false if all conditions are false. OR function only returns boolean values in the cell where they are entered. The function would return value error if no logical values are found. Now let's see how it works. So go to cell C8 and we'll begin with typing the name of the function. OR function takes up to 255 logical arguments where the first argument is compulsory to enter and the rest are optional. So now we select A8 in the first argument and B8 in the second argument and we'll close the parenthesis and we hit enter. You can see the function returns true because the first argument is true. We can also type manually instead of giving cell references. So we do double click on the cell C8 to get into the edit mode and we'll press backspace and in the first logical test we'll type true comma false in the second and I will close the parenthesis. And now if you can see we have typed true and false without double quotes since these arguments are entered as text still function would consider them as true and false only it is because these are boolean values and excel will recognize them even though they are not entered in the double quotes so now we hit enter and we get true as an answer now as we are in cell c9 so we'll type here or function now we'll do the logical test and we'll tell excel to return true if any of the argument matches the criteria and is true so here in the first argument we say a9 should be greater than 5 and b9 should be less than 25 and as we know that both conditions are true so the function returns true only and if we change the second criteria let's say to 15 and then we hit enter still the function returns true because the first argument is still greater than 5 and hence it returns true we can also check how the function is performing so by going on the formula stack under the formula auditing category click on evaluate formula so here you can debug the function and see how it is functioning so if we click on evaluate so it will tell you how it is evaluating the first condition and here in this case it is checking whether 10 is greater than 5 or not and when we click again it says yes it is and it returns true and then it starts checking the second argument so we again click on evaluate and here it is checking that whether the second argument 20 is less than 15 or not. So in this case, no, it is not. So the function would return false here, but because we are getting one, two in this condition. So the function returned two in the last. Now we change the first argument as well and we'll type here 10 instead of five and we'll see what happens if the both conditions are false. So we hit enter and now we get false as a result it is because now both the logical tests are returned false so we get false as an answer in our next example we'll tell excel to do three logical tests and return if any one condition is true so we type or function and in the first argument will tell the function to check whether 2 plus 5 is equal to 6 or not then in the second we'll say check for 20 minus 15 it is equal to 3 or not and then in the third argument we will check for 2 into 2 is equal to 4 or not and now we hit enter the function returns true because the third condition is true even if the first two are not the function returns true we can also use the continuous range to check if the function meets a logical test or not so we enter the function here in cell c11 and we select a11 to b11 in the first argument only and we will close the parenthesis and then we hit enter it gives us true only you can select any range to do the logical test okay in our next example we would select a12 and b12 and then we hit enter the function still returns true whereas both the cells are having different values in it it is because or analyzes the logical arguments and if any positive number is there it is by default considered as true by or function but what happens when we take zero in the logical argument so the function would return false 
because zero is always considered false by OR function. So this is how OR function works in Microsoft Excel. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.